The half-life of strontium-90 is 28 days. A sample has a mass of 50 milligrams initially. Find a formula for the mass remaining after T days. We first need to find the K, the growth rate. So we'll start with the generic equation. P of T equals the initial value, P sub 0, E to the KT. And let's now plug in what we know. We know the initial value is 50 milligrams, and the future value is half of that. So 25 equals 50 E to the K times time, which is 28 days. To solve this exponential equation, we will first divide both sides by 50. 1 half equals e to the 28k. In order to isolate k, we need to take the natural log of both sides. So natural log of 1 half equals 28k times the natural log of e. Recall that the natural log of e is really just 1. So in order to isolate k, we now need to divide by 28. k is equal to the natural log of 1 half divided by 28. If we wanted to simplify a little bit more, we can simplify the natural log of 1 half using log rules. So we get negative ln of 2 over 28. So now p of t is equal to the initial value 50 times e to the k negative ln of 2 over 28 t. Using log rules, once again, we can rewrite this a little bit simpler as 50 times 2 to the negative 1 over 28 t. Part B, find the mass remaining after 40 days. Since we already have the formula for population, we just need to plug in 40. So evaluate the population after 40 days. P of 40 equals 50 times 2 to the negative 1 over 28 times 40. Plugging that into our calculator, we'll get roughly 18.6 milligrams. Part C, how long does it take for the sample to decay to a mass of 2 milligrams? Using the equation from the previous example, the future value is 2. Then we have 50 times 2 to the negative 1 over 28 t. Let's isolate that exponential expression by dividing by 50. 1 over 25 equals 2 to the negative 1 over 28 t. Natural log of both sides will allow us to bring down the exponent. ln of 1 over 25 is equal to negative 1 over 28 t times the natural log of 2. Now to isolate time, the t, we need to divide by negative 1 over 28 natural log of 2. So we have ln of 1 over 25 divided by negative 1 over 28 ln of 2. If we throw this into the calculator, we'll get roughly 130 days. So it takes 130 days, roughly, for the 50 milligrams to decay down to 2 milligrams.